Hello everyone, Death Stimulator here, bringing you some more naval action. Today we've got a f even matchup, straight out, two constitutions, two trincomalies, facing off against one another. I will be equipping double shot, most likely. Still on the 12 pounders. <laughs> As usual. Getting ready to uh, basically make the most out of our range and make the most out of the situation that we have here. So we've started roughly side by side. My ally is going to want to push this advantage and we're going to go in and engage them. We've got a little bit of distance so we don't have to worry too much about the potential problems that can arise during this match such as us getting separated and all that sort of jazz. Our opponents seem quite content to sit back and wait for us. I'm just going to have some pod shots off, checking the range, seeing where we're at. Still a ways to go. Fortunately not too far. Keeping the ship at a nice uh, 115 degrees. Just uh, catching that wind. maintaining that speed. I may have to drop my angle of approach a little bit just because I'm going a little bit too fast for our ally. Mm. So that should be... let's just check. Yeah it is good. It is their constitution at the back there who's uh, pulled their sails. I'm gonna want to get on their tail very much going to be a fact that I'm going to ignore my Trincomalee uh, counterpart, I guess you could say. And get on the tail, because I can stay on the tail of the Constitution uh, in this ship. I can outmaneuver it and ultimately uh, outdamage it. I have to be careful though, because I want to maintain the condition of my sails. And I want to maintain the uh, condition of the crucial parts of my ship, like the hull and rudder and such. A few minor hits, like there's almost no hull damage at all registered from that uh, barrage, which is good. Showing off once again the uh, level of armour that the Constitution class has. And really those are all standard shots, probably from mm, either 9 or 12 pounders. I still haven't reached a stage where I can actually tell just by looking at the ship uh, what guns it has equipped. Apart from the difference between standard guns and cannonades. So we seem to have uh, come out of this very nicely. We've got the wind advantage uh, against them. We're behind them. And, uh, yeah. Not really too much else we can say at this point. Everything's gone according to plan. Ooh. I'm not sure what's happened there. I may, I must have missed the, uh, the barrage that uh, Seaman Staines' constitution took that uh, caused him to lose some of the uh, front armor of his ship. No, he's, sa he's saving his shots. Sorry, I pulled my sails just in case he went for my masts and sails, but he's saving his barrage for uh, the other constitution that's on my side. Now I have to be careful here, I don't want to swing wide too, too early and then not get to use my, um, uh, not get to use my starboard guns. Well, 
Well, I'm not hit. I wouldn't hit a stern from here. I'm reasonably happy to uh, get some shots off. Looks like yeah, no. We swung wide too early. All short. That's all right though. We'll be able to swing around and come back in, and hopefully we'll hit with the port side shots. I'm a little annoyed it leaves our constitution alone momentarily against both the Trincomalee and their constitution. It certainly was not my intention. Mind you, dishing out a bit of punishment. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't thinking there, I only meant to fire off a single shot, instead I uh, fired off a whole barrage. I'll probably switch up the ammo at the front to double shot. I really, really, really need to catch up here. <laughs> Fortunately, I'll be able to blast uh, Griswold in the Trincomalee with a uh, starboard load of cannons. As we're coming up on him now, he's going to attempt to turn to meet it which serves me just fine. I will wait until I'm a little bit past him. Just so we can get the optimal number of shots off uh, against the uh, forward armour of his ship. Also, it puts us at minimum risk of taking a broadside from him because he wants to swing round to stay in the fight. He'll probably hold off here, and we'll use the opportunity to uh, swing out. Yeah, he got a ooh, he got a lot of good hits actually. I'm quite surprised how many hit, considering. Ooh. I'm really sorry. <laughs> a few of my forward shots. Uh, did not uh, hit the right target. In fact, they may have hit the completely wrong constitution. Not sure what was happening there. Oh, we should get another decent run at uh, their constitution's rear section. And due to the positioning of their ships, their um, their Trincomalee is not in a position to fire back. Excuse the dog next door. Not terrible, but not great. So we're taking on a little bit of water, but I want to hold off on my repairs until we've taken a little bit more damage. It was a bit slow on my reaction timing there. That's fine, we don't mind the uh, shots to the uh, port side of our ship. Really? They all went over? Okay. I very much overestimated how high I needed to put those shots. And it has backfired, to say the least. Alright, let's see what we can get here against their um, constitution. Are we in range? That is the million dollar question, and we are. Fantastic. If we can take out their constitution without having to worry about our constitution going down, then we've basically won. 
as long as I'm still around. It's kind of one of those things. A, um, what are we, we're Trincomalies. A Trin sorry, a Trincomalie can maybe take a constitution. If it gets the wind, if it uh, can stay like right on its uh, stern, you know, if it can just, if it can just get that advantageous position, it can probably win against the larger ship. That being said, it's not the uh, best position to be in. Being one versus one against a constitution as a trincomalee. However, if we can be fortuitous enough to make it a 2v1, then we'll probably do reasonably well. I'm really loath at this time to uh, switch out to survival mode, even though we are slowly, slowly taking water. Uh, the primary reason for this is I just uh, don't want to lose the maneuverability we get from having the extra sailors. We can't afford that at this time. Now. We're going to take a bit of damage here. That was really not worth it. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking I might have been able to get... Maybe get his uh, mast. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yeah, he's... Yep, he's going to have a full broadside. We'll probably have to go into uh, repair mode. And once we go into repair mode, we'll lose our speed. And we'll probably have to fall back. I guess he's worried about overshooting me, because his ship does have quite a bit of... Uh, quite a bit of a, a arc to it. So a lot of shots may have overshot me. Well, he missed out on quite a few hits, so I'm not overly concerned. I'm going to shove a repair on and put my crew on survivor, uh, survivor though. Kind of wishing I'd put them on gunner so we could uh, have the shots here. A few more seconds. So now while his uh, ship's kind of turned towards the water a bit more, he won't be able to get such great shots off against me. I'll use the opportunity to kind of pull away from him here. I want to use the opportunity to kind of loop back around, get a bit closer to our uh, friendly constitution. It looks like they're coming up towards the battle. I also kind of want to basically have an influence over their constitution's position in the long run. It appears he's had used at least two of his repair kits. He was using one before when I engaged him and he's using another one now. Looks like their Trincomalee has had to use one also. Now I may have to duck back Across the wind here. I just, I just don't want to duck between the two of them. I mean, worse things have happened. However, it would not fill me with confidence. Oh, 
Well, that didn't work out as I'd planned. Most of the shots missed. It was highly, highly unfortunate. Well, we're in a good position now. I can switch my crew back to sailing, which will give us a little bit of, uh, shall we say, breathing room. Yeah, I think we will say breathing room. And uh, their constitution set themselves up to take a good shot at me, but it does let me... Oh, that's really unfortunate. Well, I can't say that I haven't done that this game. However... It is unfortunate in any circumstance. Alright, so now our portside guns should have been reloaded and we should be able to turn and meet them as they're setting themselves up uh, to meet us with their starboard. Or he's going to sit on my tail. Much, much easier said than done. Sorry, <laughs> right, my allies saying come towards me. And that would have made me kind of have to work my way directly back through their lines and go against the wind, like 100%. So here we go, we're going to get a really, really good shot off. Against our fellow uh, Trincomalee. I shouldn't say fellow, really. Hopefully it was worth uh, the damage I took. Some repairs underway, this is my second repair kit. I just want to avoid having to switch up into survival mode. Um, I'd probably be fine uh, in survival mode for a little bit. I just don't want to do it. Ooh, good shot. I would love to shoot at them, but I can't, because my Trincomalee's blocking my line of sight. Now, we're in an alright position. It's not great, because their constitution's directly behind us, however their constitution is basically sinking, so retract any statements that I made, that's uh, pretty much problem solved. I'm just going to take it as they've used three repair kits already, as I do not see another one being used at this time, so they must have had to use two earlier and one while they were engaging me. However, he does get a final blast off against our constitution. Doesn't go too, too well for him. And now we begin the pursuit. <laughs> just, just, just to add insult to injury, have some shots fired in your general direction that don't actually hit you and don't have an effect on you because you've already died. So. Ooh, all falling short. Now begins the final stages of the match where we will hunt down and uh, sink Griswold in his Trincomalee. Or that Trincomalee, I should say. Now this is one of the situations where I'm looking forward to if they implement an open world or not. 
in a long term big picture scenario it would be ideal for him to just work on doing as much damage as possible to the more dangerous ship, the Constitution. However, in this style of game, due to the fact that it's uh, short term rewards based, uh, he'd probably want to sink me. Because, you know, hey, I sunk a ship, it's a positive thing, I did lots of damage. And so on and so forth. Now, it appears that he is going for the, uh, the shots on me. He's going to attempt to sink me. He'll be hard pressed, to say the least. Beyond any other factor, I, um, I have a repair left. He's probably missing a gun or two in this position. And I'm quite capable of just sitting back, going on, uh, going into survival mode, and waiting, waiting it out. Mind you, here we go, he's got like a full array of shots against me here, fantastic hit. In a few moments, we'll be able to uh, catch him out, as it were. I'm not going to be able to get my uh, port side guns in range, so I will be just waiting and using my uh, starboard ones again. Quite a few misses. I've got to get used to the fact that I've got quite a few guns in the forward part of my ship, and I just don't account for the fact that it does sit ever so slightly further forward. He'll get a good shot on the tail section of my ship at this rate. Maybe not. Switching up my uh, sails and dropping my speed. Alright, it would appear at this point that he's on his last legs. No repairs and he's sinking pretty fast. I'm going to drop my speed even further. Going down to a full slow. And that would appear to be it for Griswold. Well done. Well done, both sides. Uh, thanks very much for watching. It's been Death Stimulator. If you did enjoy the video, please consider liking, commenting, favoriting, or subscribing, as your support does mean the world to me. And I'll see you guys next time.